I'm Chief Meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth with WKRG News 5. Breaking news, Hurricane Idalia is now a Category 3 major hurricane as of the 1 a.m. advisory Wednesday morning. Maximum winds have increased to 120 miles per hour. The movement is still due north at 15 miles per hour. Air Force Hurricane Hunter aircraft have discovered that the storm is uh, continuing to see lower pressures, now down to 945, and as a result, those wind speeds are increasing. So now now at 120, making it uh, the second major hurricane of the season behind Franklin. So as the storm continues to work toward the coast, we will anticipate this becoming a Category 4 storm with uh, winds right around 130 miles per hour as it makes landfall in and around Appalachia Bay south of Tallahassee in Florida's Big Bend. This will bring tremendous amounts of storm surge across the uh, Big Bend of Florida all the way down towards Cedar Key, and some areas could exceed 20 12 feet in total surge as the storm moves inland. It will continue to pick up forward speed. In fact, it is likely to remain a strong hurricane as it moves through South Georgia and approaches Savannah, crossing into South Carolina. From there, it will continue to drop very heavy rain through the day, uh, through Wednesday night and into Thursday morning as well. On Thursday, it will exit the U.S. Uh, eastern seaboard and move back out into the open waters of the Atlantic. But bottom line, this is going to be a very dangerous period of time uh, for the folks in North Florida. Preparations are, are should be completed as it will be a very rough sto uh, storm. We do anticipate a landfall right around daybreak as Hurricane Idalia rolls towards the Sunshine State.